Hello everyone, this last video we are going to talk about our Bible time. So I kind of do this as like my morning meeting time in the morning. The goal is that we do this first, um, obviously, but it doesn't always happen that way. So I found, actually I had a friend tell me about this curriculum called uh, Morning Time, and this is from Brighter Day Press. So this is kind of what we use as our basis, and then sometimes I'll sprinkle some things in. So it goes, here's an example. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. So you start out with uh, the Bible and then you read from part of a book. So we're studying the Psalms in this one and then we're using this book, Ancient Psalms. Wonderful is what it's called. So you talk about um, the scripture, there is a prayer, there's scripture memory, uh, there's a hymn that you focus on for a few weeks, then you're obviously reading the Bible together, you have that opportunity to discuss and talk, uh, then there's also artist or composer or poetry study, and then at the very end there is a read aloud and there are two different options of books that you can do. So she's basically broken it down into uh, Monday through Friday and she's telling you exactly what to do. It is very much open and go. The only prep that you have to do is make sure that you have the books um, that you need for the artist and then the read aloud at the end and then some way to read the Bible. I have the app on my phone so I just keep everything in this little morning basket that we have. Uh, we are reading Charlotte's Web and then um, I have flags in here. Sometimes we'll do pledges then I have another book that I think I got as a hand-me-down, big book of Bible questions. So this one's fun to read. It's We read about um, why John the Baptist baptized Jesus this morning, so that one was neat. Um, just some random questions that may not have ever come up before, um, so it's fun to read that together and kind of talk about that. Then I also have... This is from the Daily Grace Company. This is a hymns book. Um, this is actually like a devotional. I didn't even realize that when I ordered it. So you have the hymn, the words for the hymn there, and then there's information about it, like the backstory. And then there are questions that go along with certain scriptures to look up. So that's cool too. Sometimes we will do an additional hymn with that. I think that's everything. Oh. I like to write the scripture that we're working on for memorization on index cards. So we have been doing this for three weeks so far. So we are on Psalm 1-4 this week. Um, so I just break it up into the weeks that she's memorizing. So it's on index cards and ready to go. And then something fun to do with the hymns is to look up on YouTube all different kinds of ways of singing the hymns. We've found lots of different versions of the same song, lots of different styles, like more contemporary, more, I don't know, I call it like Southern gospel. Sometimes they'll even have like a children's choir doing it. So that's really neat to add in um, just to see the different, the differences and that you can express and sing this hymn as worship, but it can be different too. So it's fun to memorize the hymns. It's awesome to get scripture in the hearts of your kids. And then it's fun to have this kind of morning time and how we start our day together. I really like that it's all in here. Um, a lot of times we'll do like a poem and the poem is in here also. Uh, last week we had a picture, like a painting that we're studying will be in there too. So it's very, very open and go, super basic, very low key, low maintenance kind of homeschooling, which I discovered I needed um, after being a classroom teacher and thinking that I wanted all of the lesson plans and all the things. I really like having just an open and go curriculum. And then I think my daughter got this one time we went to a church. These are different um, flashcards that go with the books of the Bible. So it tells you the author, how many chapters, the theme, and then certain teachings. So that's neat to have in here too. If we're studying a certain book, we can just grab that and read like a little synopsis of it. So those are neat to have. And then I also have my planner in here. I can link that in the description, my homeschool planner, where I kind of 
organize myself over the summer, ideally over the summer, and I will kind of plan out our year. Uh, we have some family visiting and a trip planned, so I had to kind of work around certain things for that to make sure that we got all of our school in. And then it's really important to write goals for your kids, so I have that in here just so it's kind of front of mind. Um, and then the why, the why we homeschool purpose for days like today that were a little rough that I can go back and read and remind myself why we chose to homeschool in the first place and what the benefits are so that you can kind of refuel and re um, ignite that fire in you for homeschooling. Another one that I stuck in here that we sometimes get to, this is also from the Daily Grace, the same as the hymnal book. These are fruit of the spirit verse cards. So it talks about each of the fruit of the spirits, <clears throat> excuse me, and then it gives you some scripture to read. So the main point of this time really is to really set our hearts um, on our intent to learn for the day. Um, it gives us some time in the morning. Sometimes we'll open up in prayer. Sometimes we will sing a couple extra hymns. It's just a nice start to the homeschool day. Again, it's always the goal to start here. Sometimes it doesn't always happen. Um, but it's nice to gather together as a family and have some time where we listen um, to each other and we kind of talk about the scriptures and how that can impact our life and affect our lives and, and how we can apply it. So I love doing that. And I love the simplicity of this curriculum. If you use a different Bible curriculum, please drop it in the comments uh, so we can all check that out together. And I hope this gave you some, maybe some ideas that you can incorporate into your morning time. And I hope that gave you some value.